when's it appropriate to hire the sales manager? When, when do I not want to be the person doing that work anymore? And, and that's a tough question for a lot of companies to, to accomplish because that's a process that many owners are very good at. You're very effective at it. And so, you know, there's a lot of people out there in my world over the 38 years I've been in the trade where they've said, I've hired a comfort advisor and, you know, it just didn't work out. And um, so you debrief on that and ask the questions, what happened? And there wasn't a lot of structure. They hired somebody and they weren't sure how to actually get them into position to be successful. Um, the idea that I can do it is not the same as somebody else can do it in my organization. You have unique talents. You're probably a very, very talented individual in terms of the sales process. That's what gets you where you are. But having a manager or having other people do the work requires you to think about business process. So really, I think when you get to about two comfort advisors, if you think about the model today, uh, HVAC, plumbing, electrical, uh, solar, to some degree, um, some overhead doors and different things that we do, there's a, a, a million and a half dollars would be the low end threshold today. We got comfort advisors that are selling well over $4 million a year, the talented, you know, top, top tier guys. Uh, that process itself isn't a reason to hire a sales manager. In other words, the, the concept of why we have a sales manager plays into when you want to start hiring. So the process is about creating a revenue budget, a set of goals, and a growth plan may play into that.